Let's take a quick trip to Carrollton. If this is a weird shot. I'm trying to record my car. I've never done this before. <laughs> so if it's weird, sorry. Okay, so I got OK Dog, which is a corn dog place in Carrollton, which is amazing. I showed y'all how I put all the sauce on it. It kind of got messed up when it put it back in the bag, but it smells so good. I'm so hungry. We just moved a bunch of stuff over from a theater to an, its new space, and I'm starving. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look as good anymore because it's kind of melted off. But I got the Squid Ink Dog. It's pretty good. It's got like a hot dog at the bottom that's like, they cut the little thingies. It looks like a little squid. They use squid ink for the breading. And it's really good. Mm -hmm. Look at that cheese. Holy moly. Oh my god, it's so good. I haven't had it in so long, you guys. But the flavor combination of the sweet chili sauce, the cheesy mustard, and the um, squid ink breading is like so good. And then with the cheese, of course cheese makes everything better, but I'm making a huge mess. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's wild. Oh my god. Most of it is, like, the top part is cheese, and then the bottom part is hot dog. A little corn dog with cheese. Ugh. Mm. There's the hot dog. I had to find a, a parking lot that was a little more quiet, because there was a person parked right next to me, and they were just sitting in the car, and I was like, do I want to record? me in my car talking to myself while there's somebody sitting right there and I'm like no the answer is no I did not want to no more stringy cheese unfortunately I'm gonna get, dip it in some more of this sauce the sauce is so good with it y'all if you if you go to the okay dog make sure you drizzle the sauce on top well I really messed up my lipstick <laughs> it is a bummer that you don't have any more cheese with the meat it would be really cool if they could find a way to like half the hot dog and instead of like having like half hot dog half cheese have like half hot dog and half cheese so it's like throughout the whole thing that would be the bomb make sure they put sugar on it too they like put it in sugar and spin it around in it and get some nice sugary stuff on top something about the sugar with the uh extreme savoriness of a corn dog I wouldn't have thought to put those two together, but it's genius. It's just genius. This area of Carrollton has such good restaurants. It's so hard to choose which one to come to when I come here. OK Dog is really good for if you're by yourself because you can just go in and grab it and take it to go. Or you can sit down at the bo at the bar area and eat. Then it's not weird that you're there by yourself. Honestly, I think we need to normalize eating alone at restaurants anyway because sometimes you just want to go to a restaurant and you want to try something out but you just haven't had time to go or you can't find anybody else to go with you it's the same with going to the movies i think you need to normalize going to stuff by yourself so that you can have fun and yeah do it little feet little feeties so i also got fish cake soup because it's kind of cold and uh wet outside so i thought this would this just sounded really good and honestly one corn dog 
it's not really enough to fill you up not quite but two is almost too much so this little fish cake soup is just like perfect mm -hmm. little fish cake mm. i love fish cakes here's a big piece right there it's really hot <laughs> it's so hot it's good though but I am cooking some really fancy food tonight. I am not. I don't know if I'm going to add that to my vlog, but if I do, you guys will see it. If not, just follow me on Instagram. I'll post pictures of it on there. I am next to this really nice coffee shop called Tom Tom's. So I'm going to go in there and get a nice hot coffee, maybe a latte. Um, and I'll take y'all with me so you can see it. It's a really nice, it's like a hardcore Starbucks. It's like if Starbucks upgraded it's it's amazing all right let's go get some coffee So I got my latte. I got a sweet potato latte. I got like a cute little, I think it's still Christmassy. Yeah. A little Christmassy cup still. The sweet potato latte sounded really good. It was one of the special things that they had in right now. It's probably really hot. Mmm. Ooh. And that's such an interesting flavor. Oh my goodness. I really like that. It's like, it tastes like sweet potato. Like honestly. Oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy that all the way home. Now the other thing I wanted to show y'all is I got the little fish cakes. They're little taiyaki. They're little mini ones. Is this 12? This looks like more than 12. Maybe it is just 12. Look at all the little guys. I'm only going to eat like a couple, probably. They're really addicting. Look at these. The little custard in there. I don't really like the red bean ones as much. I'm not a huge red bean person unless it's like red bean ice cream. Love red bean ice cream. Um. Mm. <laughs> Pastry is so soft and warm. Mm. Mm. I love this flavor. You never get like a flavor like this anywhere else. It's so unique. I'm going to go home now so I can get ready to make some dinner and relax on this wet Saturday. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.